Uh, firstly, hi Grant. Uh, just wanted to, uh, like, from your previous performance, you've spoken about even in victories, you'll look at aspects that didn't go well, and there were certain points in the game when Netherlands were ahead of Pakistan. So, what have you all assessed as the uh, drawbacks of, I mean, currently things that are not working out for the team? Oh, look, we're focusing on uh, what's working, uh, not so much uh, what's not working. And uh, as you know, uh, as we spoke earlier. You know, we're um, we're becoming confident as a group and as a coaching staff. We're very uh, keen on critiquing our performance, especially when we win. Uh, not only when we lose, uh, which is which is obviously common, but we're really searching for our formula and what happens uh, consistently. What are the trends when Pakistan win games of cricket? So, those are the things that uh, the little battles, if you like, that we we identify um, the the process of of winning rather than um, just looking at the game in its entirety. You know, we, we certainly um, break the game down into, into the key aspects. And look, we're well aware that um, the, the first phase of our, our batting is not clicking as yet, uh, which, you know, we think is a good thing <laughs> in a way because, um, you know, we have full trust in, um, you know, all, all of the guys who are capable at batting uh, within the power play. And uh, they've done it before, um, over perhaps the last uh, period between World Cups, uh, the top three have scored the majority of our runs, which maybe um, is uh, detrimental to other parts of our game. So, uh, look, you know, we've got full faith in our top order. They will click at some stage and uh, it's, you know, we're, we're open and honest to say that we're, we're not getting uh, what we would like out of the power play as yet. Uh, but we're certainly very happy with uh, other phases of our game which, which have kicked into gear and did enough the other night to get over the line and, and create a W, to create you know, two points for us coming out of that dressing room, which uh, was the ultimate goal. Uh, another question on behalf of Shashank. Uh, what kind of a character is Hassan Ali in the dressing room? And how do you feel? Hassan is a ball of energy. Uh, you know, he's a, a fantastic uh, re-addition, if you like, to our to our team. Uh, look, we um, everyone knows that Hassan came in uh, on the back of Nazim Shah's injury. Uh, we miss Nazim dearly. Um, our heart is with him, and and we know that uh, his heart is with us as well. You know, we've been keeping in touch with him over recent times, uh, and he's a big loss for us. But to be able to add someone like Hassan Ali into the mix is, um, you know, such a uh, an asset to us. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's a great resource in all three departments of the game, and I would say four departments because he's, you know, such a, a positive team man off the park as well. So, you know, he bats, he bowls, he fields, and uh, he's a live wire in the dressing room, always full of positivity. So, you know, we, are, we, we certainly are lucky to have someone like him to step in. Hi, Grant. Uh, I was there at the Gymkhana uh, ground for training. I, I saw quite a few players missing. So first part of the question is, uh, was this an optional training session? And is it like all the players are available because Shaheen, Imam, Rizwan, all of them were not there? So Yeah, look, we, we trained at Gymkhana today, which firstly was excellent. Um, yeah, really good facilities there. Uh, very welcoming um, for us, you know, to train there was was uh, a great opportunity. And look, our, our um, trust, our full trust is with our players in terms of, un of understanding exactly what they need, especially the day before a game, uh, to top off their training, uh, to top up their training rather, and uh, just prepare themselves mentally and physically uh, to uh, put in uh, what we want on the park, um, which which is you know commanding performances. You know we want play our players to play impact performances. Um, it's not about them individually anymore. It's about us as a team. It's about us um, extracting another two points tomorrow, and that's our sole mission. And uh, you know we we put full faith in the players to know uh, exactly what they need to do to prepare, and some have chosen to prepare in other ways uh, other than uh, taking more energy out of their bodies today. So uh, from a coaching point of view, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, uh, sir, do you have uh, Sri Lanka to play in tomorrow's top match? But already there is a lot of buzz regarding India and Pakistan. Uh, October 14th match, India has started the campaign very well. So is Pakistan. But uh, are you feeling the buzz? I mean, feeling the pulse uh, from now on? Oh, look, uh, you know, I think as a, as a whole group, uh, we're really excited to be here. Uh, everyone knows that uh, Mohammed Nawaz was the, is the only one that's uh, 
played in India previously. So it's been a wonderful two weeks for our players to get their feet on the ground. Uh, there's been lots of excitement um, early on, you know, from our training point of view. Uh, there was lots of energy and, and um, uh, excitement to, you know, to get the pads on, to get into the nets and, and to get into action on Indian soil. Uh, the facilities here are excellent, so everyone's been wanting to train. Uh, but as a coaching group, of course, we've got to balance that because, uh, number one, we want our tanks full of energy for game day. And uh, we're trying to wean our players off from uh, comfort training, and uh, we want want them really to have, uh, you know, all aspects of their training need to be done with purpose in relation to their clear individual roles and our clear game roles. So, uh, number one, you know, we're really excited to be here, and uh, every game for us uh, on, uh, you know, on Indian soil, even the practice games, uh, it's been wonderful to to get out there and allow our um, our boys to just get a sense of what it's like to play here. Uh, it's fair to say we've really enjoyed, you know, the conditions so far. They've been subtly different um, on all of the pitches we've played. The, the training facilities have been wonderful. And uh, look, our, our guys, um, both batting and bowling, are really enjoying, you know, what the pitches here have to offer. Uh, so yeah, look, we're we're really enjoying every moment of um, of the two weeks so far, both on and off the field. Uh, but of course, you know, we're we're excited to be moving forward in this competition. Uh, we're looking forward to going to new venues. Uh, we're looking forward to playing all opposition, and um, you know, really hoping that um, you know we can get into a a stage where all six phases of our game are, uh, are coming together and we can show the fans here and our fans at home, you know, uh, what um, what amazing skills, you know, this, this group has and, uh, you know, really put together some performances uh, and get on a roll. So we're, we're looking forward to every aspect of this tour. Uh, coach uh, from Sri Lanka. Uh, so uh, you had the, had the luxury of uh, playing here earlier in the first game but Sri Lanka didn't have a chance to play here yet and they haven't even seen the pitch conditions over here so uh, that obviously will be a plus factor for you but in the recent past uh, Sri Lanka have had the better of Pakistan in the in the bilateral series and wherever they played so uh, how does it uh, affect the team and uh, how's the preparation uh, to uh, to stop that streak yeah, look, um, we're really looking forward to playing Sri Lanka. Uh, they're they're a team that we've um, we've become familiar with over recent times, obviously with with the Asia Cup, and uh, we uh, know well that they have had the upper hand on us over the last year in uh, in white ball cricket. Um, but we know that um, yeah, we know their players very very well. Uh, we have a secret weapon, if you like, in uh, Mickey Arthur, who has uh, coached them before. So uh, our scouting um, meetings this morning and our video meetings this morning, uh, Mickey was a, a very, very handy addition uh, to, um, to those meetings to be able to add in uh, some, some intricate points uh, you know, around their batters and bowlers. So look, uh, we respect all opposition. Uh, we respect uh, the skills that Sri Lanka possess. And uh, we're really look looking forward to taking them on tomorrow. Um, I guess, you know, for us, it's been... Uh, the priority has been around our game and just making sure that, um, you know, we're training specifically, uh, we're preparing specifically, uh, and we're coming together as a group to, to really understand, um, you know, what we're, what our performance is about. Um, we've worked hard on gaining some absolute crystal clarity around what we're trying to do as a, uh, as a unit uh, to win games of cricket. Uh, what the process of that is, uh, what the little battles are uh, along the way to, to win. And uh, together with that, we've also worked very, very hard on giving each of our players absolute clarity of their individual roles uh, within that. So um, it's now uh, not about individuals, it's, it's now about the group, and I'm really excited, uh, just sensing that this group is, is starting to come together really nicely, uh, not only on the park, um, not only in training, but just as a group. Um, I think there's a wonderful respect uh, for each other, 
and uh, there's a wonderful confidence um, brewing uh, in their own skills. So we haven't put our best on the park uh, yet. Um, we haven't put our complete performance on the park as yet. Um, but as I mentioned before, I think that's, um, we, we sense that that's not a bad thing because uh, we know at some stage uh, that'll come. And if we, we just got our head down, we're working hard every day just to keep improving every day. Hi Grant, uh, following up on the previous question, this is going to be your fourth game at this venue, including the warm-ups. So uh, what has been your biggest takeaway from uh, the conditions that have been on offer here uh, in terms of what you expected and how they turned out to be? And do you think it will give you an edge over Sri Lanka tomorrow? Yeah, these these conditions are foreign for for the players, especially uh, for us coaches. You know, we've had a little bit of uh, experience in Indian conditions, and uh, we certainly have used all of our contacts uh, to uh, to scout you know, the the facilities uh, as much as we can. Uh, the ground staff here have been uh, amazing. They've been they're very very good. Uh, and giving us some information, um, but also we've uh, looked hard at the domestic uh, performances here and the few internationals that have gone before. So we've done our homework, we know what the conditions are likely to do, and uh, you know, our players are certainly enjoying these conditions. Um, you know, they're, they're equivalent, if you like, of some of the better conditions at home in Pakistan. Uh, so, you know, from a batting and bowling point of view, um, you know, they're, they're offering a little bit for everyone. Uh, out here, we've, we've seen, you know, we're understanding the difference in clays, and uh, we've seen um, out of the, you know, three games we've had, um, all, all three wickets have performed slightly differently. So um, we're well aware of what tomorrow's wicket should do. Um, and uh, But we're trying to, you know, not overplay that as well, uh, because the... The conditions are the conditions, and uh, it's it's really about uh, us um, bringing uh, a determination uh, for eleven players to play uh, a winning impact in the game um, or winning impacts uh, throughout the game. So, yeah, you know, that's that's our real focus. <laughs> no, it's something. Uh, look during the um, Afghanistan series and, and the Asia uh, Cup, we felt uh, we really, number one, we really wanted to give our own players absolute clarity and confidence of, of the team we were playing. So we felt it was right to put it out. Um, and through nothing else than other than, uh, look, we, we're well aware that due to the conditions and due to uh, the fact that, you know, we're very confident in playing all 15 of our players. Uh, so within that 15, there's a number of different combinations. So we're we're very very happy uh, that um, you know we're able to and and one of our desires too is to be uh, uh, less one-dimensional, if you like. Um, Pakistan are, are renowned for our quick bowlers um, and winning games of cricket with our with our pace. Um, but you're also seeing uh, a, a, you know some maybe some surprises to some in, in the middle order. Um, we've got uh, some dynamic players throughout throughout the team, uh, and we want to be showing uh, that we can win games of cricket in multiple ways. So, with that, you know, we've got a number of combinations that we can put out. Um, you know, we can play four seamers, we can play three genuine spinners and a part-time spinner. So, uh, well, um, you know, half. Uh, we've got five five spin options, really. Uh, should I say not half? So, um, with that, um, we think you know um, we should just announce the team in a traditional way. No. Sure. Pakistan's uh, openers is not in the best forms. Pakistan's openers is not in best forms. Uh, especially Fakhar is not uh, giving, no, the, no, he's not uh, making runs. So is there any, any going to be change in the tomorrow's game for Pakistan? Look, yeah, as I said before, we're not getting what we would like to get out of our power play. Uh, but fortunately, um, we, we also, you know, there's, uh, we look at it as six phases of the game. There's, there's the, the, the power play, the mid phase and the close, obviously, in both innings. So, um, you know, we're, our simple focus is to win more of those phases than the opposition and you generally win the game. So uh, while, you know, it's clear to see yeah, that, you know, we haven't been getting the, dy the dynamic results out of our batting power play that we would like, 
uh, our full faith is with uh, all of the, our players that could uh, take up that position. Uh, you know, we've got four to five options um, that we could uh, put out uh, at the top of the order and we'd be very confident that um, they can deliver not only the runs but the tempo that we want to play at. Uh, you know, we want to create a tempo uh, through, you know, for the middle order and and the back end of our innings, you know, to uh, to build from. And uh, you know, it's it, it, we're not getting that at the moment. So um, those are those are discussions that we're having. Um, but we've got full faith in all of our options at the top.